Well, hello and welcome back to Lab Cyber. My name is Alex, and today I thought I'd cover a very important and a very popular topic, which is how to get started in cybersecurity. This is easily the number one requested question for my students, and I've already covered the topic before in one of my courses and also on LinkedIn. But I thought I'd make another video specifically for YouTube and help anyone out there who might be interested in launching their career in cybersecurity. And cybersecurity is a very, very popular field because it is ever growing. It's going to be in demand for many decades to come. It's an exciting field and there's a lot of opportunities in there. Plus, it's also quite financially, re financially rewarding as well. So there's a lot of reasons why a lot of people are interested in getting into cybersecurity. But before I get into the topic, there are two things I want to stress. Number one is the fact that I am not a career counselor. I don't have the training on how to offer career guidance to people, okay? Um, what I'm going to be saying here is based purely on my own uh, experience and what I know. Other people might have different experiences, might have different opinions. So my point here is don't make your decision solely on what you've heard in today's video. Seek other people's opinions and then decide for yourself which is the best uh, advice that you can go with. Second is the fact that it is impossible for me to provide a very specific, uh, very specific tips that will cover everyone because everyone's situation is different. A lot depends on your background, a lot depends on the country you live in, the city you live in, a lot depends on the culture, the hiring culture where you live and, and things like that. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to provide general tips and general guidance that I believe everyone, everyone will benefit from regardless of where you live or what your background is and so on. With that being said, there's generally two types of people wanting to get into cybersecurity. You've got people who are young, they've just finished high school, they're about to go into college. And then you've got the second group of people who already have a career in a completely different field and are looking to make the switch over to cybersecurity either because, you know, maybe they got laid off due to the pandemic or because maybe the field they're currently in isn't financially rewarding enough and they're looking for a more rewarding career. Those are the general two types of people. This video is going to be slightly, and I mean slightly, get more towards the second group of people, which are those looking to switch careers. The reason being that if you if you belong to the first group, look, you it's a lot easier for you. You're fresh out of high school, going to college, obviously try to go for a degree related to IT, whether it's computer science, computer engineering, information systems, anything related to information technology, you'll be fine. Once you get your degree, get one or two certifications, go for your internships, get your first job, and it's a lot easier for you because you're young, you have plenty of time to try out different fields and eventually decide which field in cybersecurity is best for you. Now, if you're in the second group, it's a, it's a bit more difficult because you don't have a background in IT and you're obviously older than uh, a 19-year-old or, or an 18-year-old looking to get into college or I don't even know how how young people get into college these days. I I got into college when I was uh, when I was eighteen, so I don't know. I guess that's pretty young, uh, also. But anyway, the first question you really need to ask yourself before you get into cybersecurity is: what area of cybersecurity, what field of cybersecurity do I want to specialize in? When you ask people about cybersecurity, the very first thing that comes to their mind is hacking. Well, yeah, it's People sitting behind a computer, typing very, very quickly on the keyboards and cracking codes and doing things like that. Uh, yes, we do have ethical hackers in cybersecurity, but cybersecurity as a field or as a career is so much more than just ethical hacking. You've got the penetration testers, you've got forensics, you've got system analysis. Sure, all that still falls under technical cybersecurity, but you have cybersecurity management. Cybersecurity teams, sections, divisions need managers as well. So you do have cybersecurity management. You've got cybersecurity sales. There are companies who specialize in creating cybersecurity products or offering cybersecurity services. And guess what? They need people who can make sales for them, who can market those services or products. So if you have a background in marketing or sales, there is a spot for you in cybersecurity. You do have uh, cybersecurity uh, law as well. 
there is cyber law. So if you have a background in law, there is a place for you in cybersecurity and so on and so forth. So cybersecurity is this very, very big field with lots of different kinds of opportunities. So like I said, the first question here is what area do I want to specialize in? My advice to you here is try to go for a field that is related to the field that you're currently in. Now, sometimes this might not be as easy as it sounds because you may have a background in a field that is not related in any way to cybersecurity. Let's say, for example, you have a background in tourism. There is no field on the cybersecurity that deals with tourism. In such a scenario, the best thing you can do would be to go for an entry level job. I know this might suck, especially given the fact that you may already have, let's say five, six, seven years experience working in the tourism industry and now you have to go for an entry level job. Unfortunately, making such big career changes, that transition isn't as, as easy as one might hope for. The good news here though is that after a year or two, once you've acquired the experience on the cybersecurity, you can begin looking for better paying jobs and more exciting opportunities uh, within cybersecurity. But the most important thing is that you get yourself into cybersecurity first, and then from there, you can begin looking for uh, better opportunities. Now, if you're lucky enough to be in a career that has something similar on the cybersecurity, let's say, for example, you are a manager of some sorts, and you're looking to go into cybersecurity management, well, guess what? There is a certification called the Certified uh, Information Security Manager, the CISM. That is a very popular certification for managers in cybersecurity. What you can do is you can begin going for the training, get yourself that certification, and then with your years of experience in on the management, rather, uh, you already have a decent chance of getting yourself a cybersecurity management job. And this, of course, brings me to the very important topic of certifications, and everybody needs to get certified. It doesn't matter what your background is, what you know, you need to get certified because it's a great way to let the employer know that you have what it takes to get the job done. But with that being said, please don't make this classical mistake of getting as many certifications as you can in as little time as possible because you might be thinking, hey, the more certifications I have, the better. That's not always true. In fact, when you acquire many certifications in a very short period of time, it might actually be a turnoff because your, your potential employer might look at you and say, you're just acquiring these certifications, but do you actually have any experience working with these certifications? That's often uh, the mistake a lot of people make. So try to go for maybe two certifications at most per year that will give enough time for you to actually work with those certifications. And it will also show your employer that you're not somebody who is just acquiring certifications for the sake of acquiring certifications. Plus, go for the certifications that are directly connected to the job that you want to get. So say, for example, you want to go into ethical hacking. You want to go for the certified ethical hacking uh, certifications. That would really, really help you a lot. Any certification on the forensics would also help you because forensics is related to uh, ethical hacking. Any certifications on the pen testing would also really, really help you. It's not going to make as much sense if you go for a certification on the management, for example. Then it's like, uh, it's not really related. Now, regardless of what your background is, there is one certification you should go for, and that is the CompTIA Security Plus. Think of it as the gold standard of entry-level certifications on the cybersecurity. It's one of the most widely known and it's also one of the easiest exams that you can pass because most of the knowledge required to pass the exam is theoretical. There are some practical aspects of CompTIA Security Plus, but most of it is theoretical. It's an exam you can prepare for and within two, three months, you can go for the exam, pass the exam, get certified, and you're ready to be hired. So CompTIA Security Plus is the first exam you should acquire, the first certification you should acquire. And then from there, you can begin acquiring more sophisticated certifications. Now, another question I want to cover here would be, what skills do I need to uh, learn in order to work in cybersecurity? Again, this depends on the field you're going into, but everyone, regardless of what field you're going into, everyone needs to know the basics of cybersecurity. Ideally, you should be able to determine the difference between a worm and a virus. You should be able to determine the difference between a firewall and a honeypot. The average person out there doesn't know what these things are. So you, if you're going to work in cybersecurity, you should be able to distinguish yourself from the average person. And as such, you should know the basics of cybersecurity. 
invest some time in taking courses that will teach you the basics, just the basics of cybersecurity. And once you've acquired the basics of cybersecurity, you also want to acquire the basics of networking. Why? Well, because networking and cybersecurity are so related, it's almost impossible for you to have a conversation, conversation about cybersecurity uh, without talking about networking one way or the other. So you really want to invest some time in learning the basics of networking. And if you're looking for materials, I would highly recommend Jeremy Charova from CBT Nuggets. He has lots of courses on the networking and I would highly recommend his uh, CCNA courses. Jeremy Charova, in my humble opinion, is one of the best instructors out there. He's the one who even taught me everything I know about networking today. And you can't go wrong with him. So I would highly recommend Jeremy Charova from CBT Nuggets CCNA training. Or you can also go for the Network Plus uh, training. You don't have to go for the certifications just acquire the training and it will be enough to get you started in cybersecurity. I would also recommend that you invest some time in learning or gaining some practical skills because this would help you a lot. Imagine you're going for an interview and you're already at a disadvantage because you don't have a background in IT, but you have a certification. The question here would be, why should we hire you? What makes you different or what makes you uh, a better candidate than someone who already has a background in IT? One of the best ways is to show that you're actually learning the practical skills on the cybersecurity. One of the best skills you can learn would be how to use a Wireshark. Wireshark is one of the most popular uh, network analyzing tools and it's widely used, it's widely known. If you just know the basics, I'm not asking you to become an expert, just know the basics of how to use it, know how it's used. And right there, you already have a massive advantage over other people because it shows that you are willing to learn about some practical skills. You're willing to invest some time to learn and improve yourself as a cybersecurity professional. So learning the basics of Wireshark, I would highly, highly recommend you that you do that. I would also highly recommend that you learn how to use VMware, virtualization, virtualization technology. Learn how you can install, say, the Linux uh, operating system on your own Windows uh, PC or maybe even on your Mac, for example. You can do that with VMware. Learn the basics of these kinds of tools and it will give you a, a massive advantage over other people. So again, learn the basics of cybersecurity, learn the basics of networking, acquire one or two practical skills, VMware, Wireshark, and then with your certification or certifications, I believe you will have a very, very good chance of getting hired regardless of what your background is. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope that it's helped you in some ways to figure out exactly how to get started in cybersecurity. I know, again, everyone's situation is different. It's impossible for me to provide a very detailed uh, guidance uh, that, will, that will help everyone out there. What I've done in this video is just to provide you with general tips and general ideas on how to get started. But again, I would highly recommend that you invest some time and seek the opinion of other people who are already in cybersecurity. And then at the end of the day, decide for yourself the best way to go about uh, launching your career in cybersecurity. My name is Alex from Lab Cyber, and if you enjoyed this video, this video please uh, do give it a thumbs up. It would really help uh, the, the video trend on YouTube. Plus, you can share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit from the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. So that's it. I hope this video will help you and uh, stay safe out there. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.